So, the Google Pixel Fold 2 leaked. And keep in mind, everything we talk about in this video can be taken with a grain of salt, because at the end of the day, well, yes, it looks like this is legitimate, you know, it's never 100%. Shout out to Android Authority for posting this, but here is what the leaked Google Pixel Fold 2 looks like. And to be honest, yes, it looks very similar to the Google Pixel Fold 1, as you can see, except for a couple of major differences. First off, the outside display looks a little bit less wide and a lot more narrower. It also looks a lot taller than the Pixel Fold 1, which, to be honest, I don't know how I like that. Coming from someone who used the Z Fold, you know, since pretty much the second generation, I really am hating how narrow the outside display is, especially after using the Pixel Fold and recently actually picking up the OnePlus Open. So, I don't know how much I like the outside display being more narrow and also being, you know, just a little bit taller. I don't mind it being taller, but if it's going to be taller, give me the same width you're going to give me from the old one. Because the old one, in my opinion, is perfect. It's just like the OnePlus Open, and I love it. I don't want, I don't want any more narrow displays. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 is going to be a wide display. We're done with the narrow displays. Get rid of them, throw them in a well, and never look back. Now, the camera design on the back is definitely interesting. And again, like I said, if you, I mean, you look at these two phones side by side, this is so much like more narrower than this one. I mean, this is wide on the back. It's humongous. This one is small. It's thin. It's small. It's like the Z Fold series. And I swear on everything, if this is what we get, I don't know if this is going to, I mean, it's going to sell, but I don't know if it, it won't be as good as this one. It won't be as good looking as this one. I'll tell you that right now. The handle on this one, I love how the handle looks on this one. This one, it looks more minimalistic, but still, just because that's, uh, you know, it's minimalistic, it's not out there, doesn't mean it's better, right? So, the camera design is interesting. Um... They're going with a four camera design right here. Obviously, four different cameras. And I said, no, sorry, it's three and then there's a sensor. Three and then there's a sensor. It's the same thing as over here. It's just a little bit smaller. Now, I kind of do like this a little bit, but I will say it looks like the camera bump is going to be way more intrusive than what we see out of the Pixel Fold 1. So that's definitely something I don't know how much I love slash so like, but... I don't think it's the worst. It's not, you know, a deal breaker in my opinion. Um, listen, okay, w after having the Surface Duo 2 and that enormous camera bump, I think as a foldable phone industry or foldable phone community at this point, we can kind of sit back and enjoy the fact that, okay, any camera bump is better than the, Z fo than the uh, Surface Duo 2 was. But still, it's still a little bit massive, right? It's still a tad bit of a problem. Not too big of a problem. But it's still there, and it's induced and intrusive. Um, but other than that, I mean, yeah, the outside, the back of the phone is the same thing with the Pixel 1, which is just a, you know, a, um, a blank canvas, pretty much, which I really do like. But, again, it's just... No. Like... I understand that not everyone loved the Pixel 1 look to it. The camera bump is kind of weird looking. But outside of that, man, this phone is gorgeous. This phone is absolutely gorgeous. This is... Like, they're trying to force the phone to be a Z Fold phone. And I understand Samsung's very successful, but... I, I don't I don't like it. I really don't like it. It feels, it more, it feels taller, smaller, and I don't like it. I like having a full-pledged phone in the outside in a huge inside display. This one doesn't look like this would be an 8. This is, I believe, the Pixel Fold, I want to say. is like a 7-inch inside display, 7.6-inch. I think this looks like it would be like a 7.2-inch. I, I don't think that would be in any way better than what we see, what we have now. And I've said this many times, if they do release this, they have to hit this out of the park. I know we talked about the other day how we're going to get potentially a um, Tensor G4 chip 
16 gigabytes of RAM, which I think is amazing. And again, the more horsepower you put in this bad boy, the better. But if you put it with dog crap, I don't like it. I, I, again, I might be in the minority here who thinks that this design looks awful and this design I like better. Maybe I'm in the minority there. But at the end of the day, that's kind of what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this phone thinking, I like how this looks. I'm sorry, I look at this phone. I love how this looks. I'm looking at this phone thinking it's too narrow display. I it's okay that it's taller, but narrow is a problem. And the back is also narrow. I don't care about the back being narrow that much, honestly. It's just a fun display, really. Um, and then, again, the inside is just not going to be a fan of. If it's a small inside phone, I just don't like that concept. I, I want, you know, the reason why we buy these phones, we spend $1,800, we really go out there and, you know, put our heart or in cash on the line here, is because of the fact that we want to be able to utilize these phones for performance. Performance, for multitasking, for all the above, right? And that's the point why you get these type of phones. You don't get these type of phones to be like, hey, look, this phone looks good. No. I mean, if it does look good to you, like at least like the on the left here, the Pixel 1 looks good to me, then that's a plus. But at the end of the day, it's for performance, it's for multitasking, it's for all those things. And having a, you know, a narrow outside display coming from a really good one, I think is a is a negative. It's it's a minus. It's not as good. I don't know. And then again, the inside display not being as big, that's a negative again to me. I think those two strikes right there from Google here. Hopefully this is not the real design. Hopefully this is just a make-believe design that someone created. But it's definitely concerning if this is the real design. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.